What is this place? Uh, another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit-chat. We need to keep moving. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. That voice. Please, Please listen, listen to me. <gasps> Mother? Huh? What? Huh? That's... your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasane, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model, and she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed Mother. That's what I remember anyway. So, Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu, and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her, once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunad Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron, all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yurito, I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? Connect your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes! Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You've really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of me. What did you say? Ugh. Are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, Babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain! All of it was to save the world. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of mother. You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. I will stop, babe! What? Everyone run! The floor is collapsing! I'm glad everyone's all right. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again! This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <gasps> Another is coming. It's big!
Some help, Luca! The enemy is gigantic, but it seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuto's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone! We may have fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. It feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. You shut down Babe! Fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunat Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, but I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunat Gate. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. 
The research of red strings spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the red strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of red strings. She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuhito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. Directly? You can't be serious! By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yuito, are you tired? Are you making sure to use Baki to make you feel better? <laughs> yes. Baki gives me all the energy I need. Yeah, you're really weird. I guess this is what it means to have a good upbringing. Well, if Baki makes you feel better, then I'll be sure to buy any Baki merchandise I come across. Thank you.
front gate. Has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So... Should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca, though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. Alright. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. It's shaking! The Kunad gate is reacting! Mother! Kasane, we'll be waiting for you. If I had taken a wrong turn, you'll lose the honor of our family. You can't stay here. I'm sorry. You'll regret it. I'm ready. It's her. Mommy is good at hide and seek, so I have to hide really well. 
Don't go too far. I won't. Maybe over there is good. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Where could Yuito be? This works. I'll be okay here. Mommy can't see me. I'm going to find you right away. Uh, <laughs> Mommy? Is that? Oh, you're Kasane. Oh, I. Huh? One day I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the red strings. Mother, what do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time to Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. <sighs> Is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Huh? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunat Gate. Uh. Death? Why? Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Huh? Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Mommy? Where are you going? Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be alright. If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere. With that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Get to a shelter! Hurry! You there! Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh... My mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood?
I do? Yuito, don't move! Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you alright? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. wrong are you okay yuito are you okay yuito snap out of it that's right i remember now it was kasane she's the one who saved me back then oh right kasane It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuizo... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while. So let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere, but then... What animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. 
So the others falling to Earth was instigated by the Moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the Moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the Moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. The circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. Yeah, but it's all so sudden. I don't know what to say to her. It's been years. You must have a lot of things you want to talk to her about, right? What should I say to mom when she wakes up? There's so much I want to talk to her about. Yuito, I need to talk to you. Now what? Did you come to insult me again? No. I don't want anyone else to hear. We're going to Musubi's, come on. Hey, wait, I didn't agree. Oh, oh man, I can't take this guy. So, what do you want? We had an argument last time. Yeah, I remember. You don't want to pick up where we left off, do you? I've had enough of that. No, I don't. I was too emotional before, so... I'm sorry. Wait, what did you just say? I said I'm sorry. What's strange about that? I know when I've gone too far. Yeah... I, uh, said things I didn't mean to, but I didn't expect you to just apologize. I called you a pampered little boy, but when I thought of your circumstances, I realized I was wrong. You lost both your parents, then almost lost your memory. You've had plenty of your own hardships. Well, when you say it like that, did I really have it that hard? Will you accept my apology? Yeah, I accept. Just to be clear, I'm only apologizing for what I was wrong about. It's true that you're a dimwit, so I won't apologize for that. Can't he be a little nicer? I guess that's just his personality. Speaking of hardships, you said you were a dud. Do you actually know what that means? Huh? It means someone born without powers. Do you really understand that? You say it like it doesn't affect you. They have it harder than even civilians. They're powerless. Well, it's kind of unclear. Wait, are you worried about me? No, I just... I can't understand how you can say that so lightly. No matter what the official stance is, people without powers are discriminated against. It doesn't matter if you're a Sumeragi or not. No matter how much they flatter you to your face, they're laughing at you in their heads. I don't think I could handle that. I know that people won't look at me the same, but it won't change who I am. There are people who see me for me, not as a psionic or as a Sumeragi. I can't tell if you're tough or just stupid. You've had so many bad experiences, but you look so self-assured. When I see you, it makes me think I can't whine about my little problems. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm surprised you want to whine sometimes. It's not that I want to whine. There are things I'm not pleased about. I've worked so hard, but my real ability still isn't appreciated in the OSF. It's irritating. Oh yeah. I think I know what it feels like to not be appreciated too. People don't see how hard I work because I'm a Sumeragi. Just like you. Huh way to be insulting without trying. 
I'll give you some advice. If you feel like you're not being appreciated, then get so strong that people have to appreciate you. That's the only way. It's what I worked so long for, and what I'll keep working for. Wow. You can be unexpectedly passionate. Unexpectedly? Why is it unexpected? I just always thought you were the cool guy. I didn't think we'd have anything in common. S stop it! We don't have anything in common. I'm not a pampered boy like you. Yeah, yeah, we're not alike at all. I mean, I'm not rude like you. What? If you had been nicer about your advice before... Oh, that's right. I haven't thanked you yet. I had trouble listening, but once I put the insults aside, I realized it was pretty good advice. Thanks. Of course it was. I'm always studying battles to get better than I am now. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Will you give me more advice sometime? Sure. But I won't be so nice next time, so don't cry about it. <laughs> I'll be ready. I'm counting on you. You're not doing too bad lately. Wait, did you just compliment me? What kind of person do you think I am? I just hate the incompetent. I show respect to those that are capable. Also, that wasn't a compliment. I was just recognizing your efforts. to appreciate how amazing I am? I think you're great, Sheeran. I've always thought that. She hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me once since then. I wonder why she wanted to make it in the first place. She said it was to help people like me rest. She also said I was just like someone... I know! I'll call that person up! She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out... Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki! I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest, so consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. 
Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's alright. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision! It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? Looks like you're working hard. I don't think it's a good idea to work too hard, though. <laughs> you're one to talk. You don't care enough about slacking off. It's not a bad thing. When you know your own strength and rest when you need it, you'll be a better soldier. Work on that. There's a lot of people who will be sad if you fall. I'm one of them. However, you should not overdo it. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be careful. Yuito, can I ask you something? Sure. What? Um, we found the white flowers already. I was wondering if there were any other plants you want me to find? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, all right. You look really disappointed. What's up all of a sudden? Well, I wanted to help you. You always help me. Not only in battle, but with the flowers, too. That's more than enough. I... Huh? What is it? Mm. Oh, sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh, wait. I'll say it. I have to. I want to be brave. Sugumi? I... want to... be... F f f I want to be your friend. Huh? You want to be my friend? I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen to me, so I want to be your friend. I looked for the white flowers because I wanted to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Oh, that's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah. I didn't lie then, but the main reason was because I wanted you to be my friend. So I asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you don't want to be my friend? What are you talking about? We're already friends. What? That's how I feel anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But, but... I can't talk normally, and I couldn't bring the flower back. I wasn't any help. Whether you're helping or not doesn't matter. Friends are friends. Besides, you've been talking normally for a while now. The way I talk isn't normal. I just blush and go quiet. I can't look people in the eyes. Listen. It's fine if that's normal for you, but what do you think is normal anyways? Being able to talk a lot without pausing. 
If you don't do that, people don't understand. That's not true. Even if you don't talk very much, I understand how you feel. Really? I mean, you found that flower's name from the little that I remembered, and you were going to climb Hiano Mountain by yourself. Seeing all that, there's no question how much you care about me. Anyone would agree. And who else but a friend would go through that much trouble? You think so? Yeah. Take plants, for example. They make you feel good just by being around and not talking, right? Yeah. So don't feel like you have to go to great lengths or change who you are just to please others. I think you should just be yourself, just as you are now. That's kind of strange. I've never thought I could be myself. I always wanted to be normal. I thought that if I was, I would be able to make friends besides Kagura. Like I said, I'm your friend. So stressing yourself out is the last thing I want you to do. Just like that white flower. You left it alone because you thought it would be happier living on the mountain. I think you should live the way that's easiest for you as well. That sounds a little pompous, though. No, it doesn't. I'm happy. Same here. I'm happy to call you my friend. Yeah. We're friends. Oh, right. About the flowers. I just thought of one I want to find. What? Go on. We couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before. So, I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? And I'm just asking as a friend, so... There are a lot. There's no direct sunlight inside the hideout, so... A flower that can live inside the shade is best. Like a spathophyllum. Spatho... what now? But we should take it outside to get some sun once in a while. It's hard for flowers to bloom without ever getting sunlight. Soil, too. If it's not the right soil for the flower, it will wilt. I know a good shop for soil. I'll take you there. Um, I was hoping for an easier one. Like one for beginners. There are no easy plants. They're all living things. Got it. So first, I should get serious about this. <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. She has no trouble talking about plants. She sees me as a friend too. I guess that means we're real friends now. There's no other way to put it. Okay, I'm ready to learn, Professor Sugumi. Sure, I'll start with the basics. Make sure you take notes. Huh? Right, okay. I told you before, you should take care of yourself, but you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> what? Why? Um, I still want you to take care of yourself, but I found a better way. Don't laugh, okay? I will water you. I'm going to take care of you. I won't laugh. Thank you. Yuitong, do you have a moment? You look worried. Did something happen? Yes, I must conduct this with the utmost secrecy. It's slightly dangerous. It may be difficult to manage on my own. So I was wondering if you could help me. Of course I'll help. So how dangerous is it? For a while now, I've been looking into the research conducted at the old OSF hospital. During the investigation, 
I discovered research data was stolen by a spy from Ceyron. I can't go into details, but it's very dangerous. It must be erased as soon as possible. So you want to infiltrate a Ceyron research facility? Yes. It should be in the Supernatural Life Research Facility. Okay. Will it just be the two of us? Yes, that would be best. I guess fewer people involved would be better for secrecy. I'm glad you understand. Let's leave immediately. I know it's kind of late to bring this up, but shouldn't we be hiding as we move so they don't notice us? No, we chose an area with higher activity levels of others like last time. So I believe we will be okay. There's a chance they have strengthened security, but it should basically be deserted. I see. I guess normal people can't pass through. I can hit it! Here. It sprayed something like oil. Don't get it on you. Leave it to me! Come on! Over there! That's the other we need to take care of. Keep it up! Looks like the enemy dropped something rare. Let's go! Next! If your body begins to burn with fire, it'll drain your health, so be careful. Here you go! You should be able to break the outer... Shell if you keep attacking. There's nothing. Thanks, Kasane. There. I can go. do this. Keep it up. Shell breach confirmed. Put the pressure on. You finished it off, Yumito.
Don't get caught. I need your help. There are more others than I expected. I was right to bring you with me. If we take too much time getting there, they may detect us and move the research data to another location. I'm glad I came. Why were you looking into the research at the old OSF hospital anyway? <laughs> 